And now we continue on. And this part really sucks. Why does it suck? Because we come across the signature enemy of this game, of this section, which is fish imps. And they are obnoxious, they always come in large numbers, they flop on the ground and hurt Jennifer like a fish would out of water. I don't know what to do with Brown, I'm like, stay, come. And they're, see, this is what they do, they'll flop on the ground and then you can't get away from them. And then on top of that, I'm being attacked by regular imps. Ugh. Sucks. Sucks so much. Just keep stomping. Stomp and smack. Now I'm losing my health. And so I tried to equip the meat cleaver to see that'll be more helpful. <laughs> Just trying to clear a path at least through them. Um... And I can't hit nothing. So I decided, you know what, this meat cleaver's not working, and I. <laughs> stupidly try to do that. So I use my shortbread. Try and live! And I re-equipped the pipe because the cleaver is not working. And I use my lollipop. And then I start brutalizing them. Just to make a path through these things takes forever. These are the most annoying of the enemies. You can't even see where they are. I'm just trying to kill them. <laughs> trying not to get hurt anymore. And Jennifer's stupid and doesn't know how to hit anything. <laughs> I'm basically killing every single one of them, which you really don't need to do. You really just need to find a way through them. It's a much better strategy. Stupid thing is brutalizing us. See, now I'm dying all because of that stupid fish people. And so I eat the last of my healing items. Now get your butt over here and let's just move on. <laughs> and then we find what we were looking for. The mermaid room. And more picture stamp because this for some reason took a long time. We have some Mono Sukiko before it was Leon S. Kennedy. Now we have some Angel Sanctuary. And now some Paradise Kiss or Parakis. What is Dr. Hoffman doing? And more picture stamp. Some Nana. <laughs> Some Utena, or revolu revolutionary girl Utena. Some shamanic princess. Some Fusiji Uji, or mysterious play. <laughs> Finally, we're out of that cutscene. She slammed the door in my face. And then we enter it for probably the scariest cutscene, in my opinion. Mermaid's room. Literally, this is the, to me, this is the scariest cutscene in the room, in the game. In the room. Ah, scariest cutscene in the game. It's just all around freaky.
And that's what happened to Clara. <laughs> she got turned into this crazed mermaid. And I believe that the person who closed the door was actually Diana. It sounded like her laughing. And this is kind of like the fallen woman from Fatal Frame 2. This is all she does. She falls from the ceiling and tries to whack you. Somehow she did not even touch me, and yet I was like knocked over. Makes sense. But she falls from the ceiling and starts whacking around, and she vomits everywhere, and the vomit is acidy, and it will kill you. And see, I'm already limping, and I have no healing items. And this, this is a, one of the few boss fights that are in this game. She threw up on me. Brown usually dies during this one because of all the vomit. And I stupidly walk into the vomit. I can't hit her with a crap for some reason. She vomits everywhere. Disgusting. And I continue to limp around. And she vomits everywhere. Very pleasant. By the time I get over there, she's gone. But she reappears over here. I try to smack her some more. And then she kills me. Hell yeah. Died right off the bat. So then I had to go through it all again. This is, right here, I'm making the offerings. Um, to see how many I need. I gave it a clip at once. Um, I gave it, I've given it four clothespins, and it wants four more, which is eight. And then here, I give it one. I've given it something. Hold on. <laughs> I gave it another one. And I've given it 11 so far. Um, I think it needs 12 marbles. And then I received shortbread. But that was it. So then we continue on. And I'm in here trying to find healing items. And I find something peculiar. I find perfume spring. Which is in fact odd, but if you find, there are four perfumes. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. When you get all four, you go to the gift box, and you give them to the gift box, and the, all four to the gift box. The gift box in return will give you the secret room key. Um, if you remember, on one side of that area, there's a wall that looks like a door, but you can't get through it. Um, in the secret room is a magnum, so that's the actual, so you actually get a gun. And then here I found a save point that was closer to where I was, and I found some candy. I think now I have like slightly more healing items, and so I save, and now I'm refighting this stupid mermaid. And as you can see, it's all sped up because, well, you already saw the fight. And she's massively throwing up, and I'm retaking all these stupid things. Oh, she's a bitch to fight. I think there's only really three um, big bosses in this game. There was the one after uh, Sir Peter, and then there's this one. And then I think the last one's at the end of the game. Um, the rest are just the imps. So there's not really much of a trouble with the system since you can avoid most of the imps. Except obviously in um, the goat sisters, there were the two goats you had to defeat. That usually tends to be the bosses, I've noticed. It's like just some imps you have to defeat to move on. Um, but yeah. Now I've equipped the meat cleaver to try and see if that'll do more damage, and Brown is dead now. <laughs> 
Toju because he always dies during this part. And I decided to wait. I have no more healing items. I don't think. And I'm dying. She's vomiting everywhere. She knocked me over. And I'm trying to like cut her, but it's not working. She vomited all over me and I die for the second time in this chapter. So we continue. And now we're fighting these things again. Stupid wretched little things. And then they kill me. And I die for a third time. Man, this was fun. <laughs> and then I fight her again. Trying my damnedest to kill it. But it's not working. I think I've re-equipped the um cleaver, it looks like. Yep, re equip we equipped the cleaver. This is actually sped up as fast as it will go, which is it says five hundred, I don't know what that means, I guess five hundred times. I don't know. That's what Pinnacle says. When you do the speed, I pushed it all the way up and it said five hundred. I don't really remember what that means. But whatever. Continuously dropping and vomiting everywhere. I'm trying to kill her. It's not working. She vomited on me again, and I died for a fourth time. So we'll see you in a minute.